Hey guys, today we're here with Makeup by Ariel and we are gonna do a red carpet ready look. Let's get started. So applying the concealer that I used on her face, I'm using Kevin O'Coin Sensual Skin Enhancer Number no. 9. Cover up any discoloration that may be on the lid and also to serve as a base for my eyeshadows. Using a clean, fluffy blending brush, you'll buff through the product and make sure it's evenly dispersed throughout the lid. We'll take some loose powder in the same powder I've used to set her face. Well, I'm gonna use like a silvery tone towards the front to open and separate the eye. And this is almost a cream base. Concentrating this at the very corner of the eye. Just gonna take this right along the lash line, not going past the center of her eye. Using a flat shader brush in a more bronzy toned color, just gonna place this towards the very outer end of the eye not going past the crease. Using a bronzer, just rim her crease in buffing motions. This will be your transition shade, so don't be afraid to just buff it through the crease. Using a clean, fluffy blending brush, we're gonna go ahead and further blend that. We have a smaller blending brush and a red tone brown. I will go ahead and further define her crease line. Sweep through the crease and make sure there's no harsh edges. Going back in with a more bronzy tone towards the outer corner of the eye, you'll go ahead and layer the first color that we applied. The more you layer your products, the more visible they become, the more intense your look gets, and the more camera ready it is. Using a smaller, more precise blending brush, I will go in with the color Saddle, mixed with Cork by MAC, and through her crease, just further define her crease line. Going back in with a clean blending brush and your transition shade. Make sure your colors are really well blended. Camera picks up everything, especially paparazzi cameras. <laughs> yep. Using a transition shade that has an even shimmer will allow you a more smooth and even blend. You wanna go ahead and intensify the color that you've placed towards the front of the eye. So using a powdered version of the light color that I've applied towards the inner corner of her eye, I will further intensify the look by patting over this product. The last thing I want to do for the lid of the eye is really just define her crease. In your transition color, it will rim her lower lash line with the powder bronzer. With a smaller brush, you'll go in with Espresso and cork and just line define the lower lash line. Going back in with a smaller brush to bring warmth with a more red tone color. Just run it through the lower lash line to bring in the warmth. And taking a black eyeliner, you'll rim the inside of the waterline. Take the pencil along the upper lash line. And just because I don't want the eyes to be too overpowered, I'll take a small smudging brush and very at the root of the lash, just run some black shadow. This will help make your lashes look a lot more predominant and it'll intensify the liner that you applied. And we can dust her off at this point. Just dust off right underneath the eye. And again, this is for camera. Don't do this for every day, but it's stunning and it photographs incredibly. I'm just going to have her curl her lashes for me. Take some mascara through her lashes. You always want to make sure to curl your lashes. It opens the eyes, gives you a more awake look. It's more flattering. So you'll take the front and pull down through the bottom lashes. This will extend the lash. And because we are applying falsies, you want to make sure that the bottom lashes are just as full as your top lashes. Using a little bit of Anastasia's highlighter towards the center of the eye while the lash glue dries. You want to pop in the center to open the eyes. Apply your first lash. While that dries, finish up your look, whatever finishing touches you need. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of a peachy tone blush and a little bit of a highlighter. Blend, blend, blend. We'll move on to her lip. And to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take Electra by MAC. I'm running the lip liner through the lip just to act as a base for my lipstick. Using Honey Love by MAC. I'm just gonna pat this in the center of the lip. It's like a neutral nude. Softly go towards the edges of the lip. This is a very neutral um, brown, and it's not a true brown, it's more like skin tone-like. Take a nude lip gloss mixed with the golden tone, just to pop that towards the center. 
And there's your look. There's your look. Red carpet ready.